welcome or welcome back to Callie's Kingdom. I'm Callie and today is a little bit of a different video because I'm not going to do anything really about books. Well, books will make an appearance in this video, but I have some exciting news. I'm going on a cruise! I've been on two cruises before and they've both been so much fun. First was a Disney cruise when I was in fourth grade and I loved it. And then last year my family and I went on an MSC cruise and that was fun, but there definitely wasn't as much to do as on the Disney cruise. But now we are going on a carnival cruise and it looks so fun. They even have a ropes course on there and then a pool and a water slide and everything. And we are going to the Bahamas and it will be a week long cruise. So today I was packing and then I was like, hmm, I need a video filmed for when I'm gone, which this will be coming out on Sunday, which is our first day on the cruise. And then on the Wednesday, I probably won't post anything unless somehow I film two videos today. But anyway, sorry if you hear any noise, someone's mowing their lawn and then my parents and my sister are also packing up for the cruise as well. But I am so excited and let's get into it. So first, I'm going to show you my dresses for the cruise. I love wearing dresses. I wear them like all the time, but also for this cruise, you have to dress up a little more nice each night for dinner. So they're like casual dresses for girls, like different things like that. So these will be for that. And then we also have two fancy nights for it, two fancier dresses. But first dress, we'll see how good I can show it, is this. It's like a very tropical dress and that's high low. So I love this and I think it will be perfect. And you can see the print are like tropical flowers. Most of these dresses, by the way, I've gotten at Burlington Coat Factory. Like this was like $13. So highly recommend going there. This one I didn't get at Burlington. This one I got at Gap, I wanna say on sale, but it's just a purple dress and it's very comfortable. And I love it. <laughs> And then next dress is for, so they have themed nights on this cruise. So one night is like a white night where everyone wears white. So I had to take this dress. This was my dress I also wore for graduation underneath my cap and gown and everything. So I have that. And then this is one of my most comfortable dresses and I might just wear it on the way back home because why not? <laughs> and it is this like mint green floral one. And I also got this at Burlington Coat Factory for like $12 or so, maybe even less. And then this one, the next two my friend gave me, so thank you, you know who you are. She was getting rid of some of her clothes and then she let me go through them and see if I wanted any. And this is very nice. It's like a little kind of off the shoulder and it is also very tropical. And then this one is like, it looks like, it reminds me of Greece, you know, with like the white and blue stripes and then the little like kind of embroidery there so will be absolutely perfect for a cruise and then last but not least i have this long black floral dress for it so i love dresses i'm literally wearing a dress right now i find them so comfortable so i am very excited to have the chance to show them off on a cruise but as i said before those are not the only dresses I'm bringing. Those are more of the casual ones. But I also decided to bring my prom dress if it will fit in the suitcase. If not, then I won't be able to. And my homecoming dress for the two fancy nights. I am so excited to have another opportunity to wear these two because really after your prom, you're like, where am I going to wear this again? And now I can wear it again. For my homecoming dress, I wore it to homecoming and then I wore it to another like winter semi-formal at my school, but now that one will get a third, third use of it. So yeah. Okay, so they are both kind of in like plastic bags, but I'll try to do my best to show them to you. So wow, look, a plastic bag. But that's my homecoming dress. Let me see if I can show you. It's very glittery. I love glittery. <laughs> and yeah, let me see. There we go. There it is. It's like just a pretty little like blue sparkly dress. I have never filmed a video that is not about books that I've posted. So please bear with me. Actually, that's not true because I used to have a channel for a while where I would do art and I would post about that. So, but I've never done a video like this. So hopefully this will be okay with you guys. This one I probably can't take out as much, but it is kind of like 
It's blue and sparkly, but it's a dark blue, like a midnight blue. And these sparkles don't get on everything. So, yeah, it's very long. Is it coming off? You guys get the point. <laughs> So I hope I will be able to bring that as well. But as I said before, there are theme days on this cruise. And one of the theme days is like neon, like 80s disco party. So I had to have something for that too. And that is this very bright pink neon shirt. And I actually got this when I participated in the Distinguished Young Women's Program, where I was the Distinguished Young women, woman for my county, and then I went to compete at States with everyone, which was really fun. So it just has, like, their little logo on it, and it says, Distinguished Young Women Scho Scholarship Leadership Talent. And we wore this for our fitness part of our um, little competition thing. There would be different categories. It was really cool. So there's talent where I did color guard. There was an interview. There was like, um, they looked at your grades in Scholastic. And then there was, um, why am I blanking out on what it's called? Basically, we got a prompt and then we had to go out and like, respond to that prompt. It's kind of like a modern um, pageant almost where they focus more on what's actually important instead of just like looks and everything. So yeah, it was a fun time and now I have a nice shirt from it. And then I just have black shorts to go with it. And also I'm bringing another just like cute shirt in case I don't feel like wearing a dress one day and then I can wear just wear that with the black shorts. And then of course, I have pajamas. <laughs> They're not that interesting. Just some pajama shorts. I have those, those, and then black ones, and then a couple of pajama shirts. They're all very soft, but they're all just gray. So there's that one, there's that one, and then there's my favorite, the Minnie Mouse. <laughs> but then, of course, I can't go to the Bahamas and everything without bathing suits. So. I found this bathing suit. You guys probably can tell how much I love dresses. And I was like, what? A dress that's a bathing suit? So it's like a bathing suit. Like, even under the skirt, like, there's the bathing suit part of it. But then it looks like a dress. And it's so pretty. And I love it. And then I can just feel confident and pretty when I go to the beach. And then I also have just a simple, like, little polka dot top. And little black bottoms for that. So yeah, now we're done with the clothes. And of course, I don't like getting water in my eyes when I go underwater, so I brought some goggles as well. Even if they don't look the best, when I have on like the goggles with everything, still gotta bring them because it's mostly about having fun, you know? And then I have a couple shoes. So for the fancy nights and dinners and everything, I have these ones that are very sparkly. They have a little bit of a heel, but not quite, because I do not like wearing high heels. I'm, like, this is what I wore with my prom dress before, too, because I'm not about to wear whole high heels everywhere. And then I have more casual, like, little sandals that I just got, and I think they're so pretty. I think I got these at Marshall's. But then I'll also just have, like, some flip-flops I could just wear to the beach and then take off and everything. And probably, like, some sneakers or closed-toed shoes of some sort. But I'll be wearing those probably on the day we're going down tomorrow. So there will be no need to pack them. But I wanted to bring some things for my hair. I know, it's just in a Ziploc bag. So I have some scrunchies that I can either put around my wrist or put my hair up with. And I just have them in some fun beachy colors. And I also have a white one. And then I have a claw clip. And then, oh wait, I'm not even bringing the dress that this goes with, but the scrunchie matches one of my dresses perfectly. But since it's not on the pile, I probably won't bring that. But I'll bring this other one because it kind of goes like, like if I wanted to wear that shirt, it kind of like can go with that or different things like that. So good thing I went through this. So now one less thing to wear, to bring. And then I have my little daisy claw clip. I like keeping these all together with it. So then they can all just be nice and neat together in the Ziploc bag. <laughs> and then also for accessories, I'm bringing some jewelry for like nights or dinner, different things like that. 
and I have it in this little bag right here, which just says make today amazing. I think I got this out of Dave and Buster's when I had enough points. So basically it just has little pouches. They have this for earrings, but since I bring dangly earrings, that wasn't really working. So hopefully this video is interesting to you. I don't know. We'll have to see. I have the earrings that I wore with my homecoming dress. So they're just little like sparkly ones for the fancy night. And then I have these earrings that I bought when we, I was on a senior trip with my friends this year. They were so cute. We went to this little kind of indoor, almost like craft fair. Their whole tagline was like Etsy in real life. And they had a bunch of different things. And I wanted to buy something to commemorate the trip, but something that I'd actually like wear and everything. And I saw these really cute clay jellyfish earrings and I absolutely love them. And I think that's perfect for a cruise. Then I have some my school does something called Festival of the Arts every year, and they have a bunch of different vendors come down. They have the color guard perform, like bands perform. I did a wheel throwing demo with my ceramics. It was so cool. And I love how they do that. So I like to get something from there. And the first year that they did that, because two years we were in a pandemic, so they didn't have it. But my junior year, I got these little ones, earrings. They were only $5. I like this one vendor because she only sells her earrings for $5. And then last year, or I guess this year, yeah, this year in like May, I got these little ones also for $5. And then my grandmother, she was going through her earrings and she had these. They're like little flower beads and everything and they're very cute. And then these ones go perfectly with that white and um, white and blue striped dress. And they're just these little ones. They kind of look like like China, like, but on earrings that my grandmother also had. But I think she gave them to my sister, but my sister didn't want them. So she gave them to me as a gift. And then I have little simple dragonfly ones that I got when I went down to Wildwood this year with my color guard. And I think they were on sale for like $4. So yeah. And then for my prom dress, I'm bringing my prom jewelry. So I have this. And then the earrings that go with it. Which are, ah, these. They're so pretty. I'm just so excited to have another chance to wear everything again. And I have just a simple necklace that I wear all the time. My sister gave it to me. Oh no, did it, this bead keeps on falling off, like, coming unconnected. Because you see how, like, the all the beads are supposed to be connected like that. And I keep on trying to hot glue it together, but it's not working. But since it's in the center, I think it will be fine. But I think it's just such a simple, like, jewelry that can go with a lot of things. And then I have a couple bracelets. I have this that goes with my homecoming dress that I'm bringing. This I made with my sister. We made, like, friendship bracelets, and they're summery colors, and it, like, just fits perfectly around my wrist. I don't wear a lot of jewelry, but this is very comfortable. And so is that homecoming um, bracelet. And then more beads that are kind of like these ones, but they're smaller. I didn't make this. I think one of my friends got it for me. And then I just have another simple necklace. I thought I had um like a, what do you call it? A sand dollar necklace, but I was looking for it to bring and I couldn't find it anywhere. And now I'm not sure where it went because I know my grandparents gave that to me and I wanted to bring that. <sighs> so sad. But then everything just fits into these pouches and I can roll it up. This is obviously not sponsored by Dave, Dave and Buster's because they do different prizes all the time. So I don't know if you'll find it, but I think one of these things are very helpful to have. And now <laughs> the part that you've all been waiting for, probably the books I'm bringing. So I recently just finished The Grace here today and I started The Summer I Turned Pretty. So I wanted to bring summery fun reads. So I have that. And then I have the second book. It's not Summer Without You. My sister, my mom and I have been loving watching the TV show. And I read like two pages of the of the first book. And I was like, oh my gosh, I can just picture the characters like played by the actors and actresses and like it just felt so true to their characters already and I love that and then I have the summer of broken rules which I think is another cute like summery rom-com about a girl who goes to an island because her sister's getting married and they're having like a big like game of assassin and she sees like I think a cute bride not bride she's the bridesmaid I think yeah but he's like um 
a groomsman. That's what it's called. I'm like blinking out on so many things. And then, so these are the cute summary romances. And then, of course, I had to bring a young adult thriller, Lying in the Deep. And this is a young adult thriller set on a cruise where someone dies. And I don't know about you, but I just can't imagine a more perfect setting to read this on. Sitting on the cruise and then reading about a cruise where someone dies. And it says romance, jealousy, obsession, and trapped on board with the killer. So, yeah. These are the four books I'm bringing. Hopefully four will be enough for this seven-day cruise. I'm sure it will be. I'm just... But we do have a seven-hour drive. So then part of me is like, well, what if I, like, read the whole drive? And then what if I run out of books? So I might bring another book, one that I'm currently resting you on. And that is Lady Smoke, which is not summary, but it is the second book in a fantasy series that I'm reading. Let me put this back up. I have to, like, rig this up on a box and, like, a couple books, so that way it can all be good. But then I am also bringing a couple fun things to do in the car. So I have this really cute bag that my friend got for me from Target, and I'm going to be bringing it to the beach, but on the car ride there, since it's, like, seven hours and something, I had to put some things. So first of all, my journal. I journaled to my future self three years in the future, so I'll be, like dear future self and then I'll put like the date I'll put in different pictures sometimes I'll just like write a bunch and it's been really really nice so I'm currently on page 107 out of 189 and this is also my 19th journal which is really cool I started journaling to my future self during the pandemic so now I get to start reading those so I have my journal from my past self, which I made myself. Like I literally put together this journal. I like put, sewed the pages together. This is my second journal ever. And it's so fun. Like that's so cool that I made this too. Like this one I obviously bought or I got for Christmas. But yeah, I can just read you a little bit of it because it's myself from three years ago. It says for today... I was like, we are on our way to the orthodontist right now. Ugh. <laughs> I said, like, ugh a bunch of times. I was, well, ugh. Mom and I are going to try to get this whole thing with my retainer straightened out. Ugh. I had to get up at 7 o'clock for that, and I haven't been waking up that early. Ugh, again. And then I just keep going into it. But it's just kind of nice to, like, see what I was doing three years ago. And I have this little bird that I, like, put on the pages. And then the bird sticks up so I know where my spot is. It's so cute. <laughs> but I've just loved getting to read this. And yeah, I'm almost to my 20th journal. And that's really cool. And I think one day in my future house, I'll have like rows and rows of books. But then I'll have one bookshelf dedicated to my journals. So of course I had to bring these two. And then going along with journals, I also bullet journal. So I have this, which basically bullet journaling is like, I basically make my own planner. So I can show you July. It is such a fun theme. I love it. So it's July and I drew all that. Like there'll be blank pages and then I'll draw it and plan out myself. So I have my calendar. I have my highlight of the day and mood tracker. Maybe I'll do a flip through of my bullet journal one time if you'd like that. And then of course I have the weekly spreads where I basically just keep track of what I have to do. And it's so fun. And I love doing this. And then I have my page tracker, which I have just started and I love how it's turning out. So over here's the key and it will be the books I read. And then I'll do how many pages I read that day. And I love that. And then this is the week we're on right now. So right now, obviously, I am currently packing for the cruise, filming a video, and then I need to water plants um, and then go to my friend's house to help her film a speech for school. So it's really nice to be organized. I even have a cruise packing list. And yeah, so obviously this, well, maybe not obviously, but this is not enough for the whole year. So it lasted me until July, but then I had to get another one for the rest of the year, which is this one. It's pretty color with the butterfly. And I have like a key that I colored in and then of 2023 a little moth theme and then I also finished doing August which is this nice theme and I've just loved doing this I'll even have like my second half of 2023 TBR and different things like that so I have to bring this 
obviously. So that way I can continue working on my spreads for September. I'm very far ahead because I don't want to fall behind in this for college. And then this one. So I have these two as well. And then I just started doing a reading journal. I'm so excited. So one day my friend and I, we went to Barnes & Noble at our mall and every, like there were barely any books. It was crazy. It was like a war zone. I was like, what? Where did all the books go? We were scared it was closing down because they were putting 50% off on any everything. Sadly, I didn't find any like books that I loved and wanted there. But then I came back after that day and I got one of their like bullet journals, even though I have bullet journals, but bullet journals, they basically just have little like dots, if you can see. So then you can easier do things like that. And I decided to create a reading journal. The pages are a bit thin, thinner than my bullet journal. I have like rating system, my reading goals, and then basically I've been making little pages for all the books I've read. So that's The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue, and then I have another page of that. And then there is The Vanishing Deep. Oh wow, I realize I'm giving away the books that I've read this month, but then there's another page. But I'll be talking about all these in my What I Read in July. I have The Ash Princess. And then another page there, and then How to Survive Your Murder. And another page there, and then Killjoy. And then Nine Liars. And more Nine Liars pages. And then I've just been starting working on the Grace Here page. So I'm going to take this so I can work on filling that out since I just finished that book. And yeah, I've been loving doing this to get to write about like what I thought of the book, keep track of everything. And really, The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue is what inspired me to start this because I just had so much to say and write about. And so that's my reading journal. So I'm taking that as well. And then finally, as I said before, I am a writer. I'm an author, actually. Like, I published a book and everything. So I have recently started doing, like, a fun summary book where I write in a journal, which is how I did my first couple books. And I'm just doing it for fun. Who knows if I'll ever get it published one day. But I decorated it. I called it Project Summer. I And then I made, like, a whole little collage in there. Oh, wait, I'm going to have to blur that out. And then I made a whole little collage in there. Don't mind that part. That has my information in case I lose it. And then I kind of put some characters to keep track of that, although I did not fill out everything. But, yeah, like, literally, like, not filling out that. This character doesn't even have anything. I did a little family tree. I did things to include, and then I started writing. And basically, this book, I basically just decided to do whatever I wanted, taking inspiration from lots of books, summary books I love, and non-summary books. So I took inspiration from basically Inheritance Games, from The Summer I Turned Pretty, from We Were Liars. I wanted to make it mystery, but not like murder mystery, and make it kind of fun. So basically, it's about a girl. Actually, no. I'm going to do a video on my, me being an author, and I will tell you more about this there. So keep track about that. You won't get that until then. So I have them all in this little... Where did my... Here it is. Sorry, I'm so distracted. I have my pencil case as well, of course. I have, like, fine liners and pens in there. In the bottom pouch, I have erasers and pencil lead. And then in the top, <laughs> I have all my mini markers... They're Tombow brush pens, if you are curious. And those ones don't bleed through any pages. So this is my little my little fun bag. And we'll see if I can fit any any of my books in it as well. But yeah, so that is basically what I am bringing on the cruise. So thanks for help packing with me. I was going to say help me pack, but you didn't do anything. <laughs> Just kidding, thanks for watching my video, but you didn't help me pack. You just watched me packing, which I do appreciate. So, if you got this far, maybe do, like, either, like, a boat for cruise or, like, little flip-flops, because that's so fun and summery in your comments. So, thank you for watching, and I might not have a video this Wednesday, but I might, so you'll have to stay tuned for that. And, yeah, see you next time. Bye! Okay, hi guys, I'm popping in here at the end to add on another little segment because I thought this was going to go up before I left on the cruise, 
but actually then I kind of ran out of time so it is going to go up the Wednesday after I got back from the cruise so I just wanted to talk to about that to you guys so it was so fun I loved it so much it was a great time I went on the carnival of magic and we went to the Bahamas so we went to Nassau Bimini and Freeport and it was such a fun time. I loved the ship. I loved the shows. They were so good. All the dancers and singers. There was a comedian that was really funny and they had some like PG comedy shows and they had a magician. They had like a miniature golf on board. They had a, like pools and slides and it was just awesome. But I wanted to show you a couple things that I brought back with me that I didn't take with me. So first of all, on board, they had this some challenges, and my family participated in this challenge called the Wheelie Big Challenge. There was like a wheel, and you spun it, and then there would be different challenges for different groups, and my team ended up winning, so they gave us these medals. It's so cool. It has basically what's on top of the cruise, um, where like the smoke comes out and everything, and it says Carnival on it. And it is so cool. I love it so much. My sister won a different challenge, so she got it. And then she didn't participate in this one. But then I got one as well, which is awesome that we both got one. And then another thing was at their um, teen club, I only went there for a little bit, but they had some cool beads and I made this really pretty bracelet. And I may or may not have made some for some of my friends too. And when we went off, there will be some shops. We didn't really buy anything ourselves. Well, my sister bought a bracelet because she found a $5 bill on the ground. So then she used it to buy a $5 bracelet. But they have little shops where they're like free gift inside. And you can go in and we got a free pineapple charm. Another free pineapple charm. Maybe we'll make pineapple earrings. And then I also got a little palm tree charm. I didn't come in a bag, so I put it in this one, which was so cool. And then my favorite part of the cruise. So... I was walking in uh, off, off, out of my room to go down to like the floor on like the second day. It was like the day after we boarded. And I looked up and I was like, what's that on top of the elevator? So I go over and it's a duck. It's a pig duck. And it was so cute. So obviously I looked at the tag and basically it says, congratulations, you found a cruising duck. Keep her hide, you decide. So basically people take these ducks on the cruises and then they hide them places for people to find. And it was so fun. I kept all the ducks I found on this cruise, but if I ever go on a cruise again someday, I want to buy a whole bunch of ducks, make little tags and then hide them everywhere because it was so fun. I was the one on the lookout in my family, so basically I found all the ducks. The first day I found this one, and then the second day I found this one from the same family that I'm giving to my sister. And on the third day, I found two ducks. I forget, which ones did I find? Oh, I found this one, and I was so excited because it's from a different family. And it is, it has a whole different tag, which I think is so cool. Now my goal, then after that, my goal was to collect as many tags as I could if there were any other people hiding ducks, which I wasn't sure if it was just two families or what. But then, but then I found this little ninja duck and it has, you've been ducked with the little tag behind it. And it's so cute. The next day was the day that I found five ducks. That's right. But it was also the day that. I couldn't find any more ducks after that. It's like people ran out. But while I was finding these ducks, I met this super nice girl and I only met her once. And I kind of wish I kept, could kept keep in contact with her but she because she seems super nice and I feel like we'd be such good friends. But all I know about her is that her name is Rachel. So if you're somehow watching this, please reach out to me because you seem so cool. So I went and I was saw a duck and I was going over to it and she was like, oh my gosh, a duck, a another one or something. And then she went over but she saw that I found it and I was like, oh, did you see it too? So we were talking and she was finding ducks as well. And we both just bonded over finding so many ducks. And then she found another one from the floor below and she was like, Callie, I found another duck. <laughs> it was just awesome, but. Basically, I found this one from the same family. It has little spikes. And then, oh, the day before th that, I think I found this duck the first day, this duck the second day. And then I found these two ducks the third day. Because I also found this little green one that didn't have a tag. It was in a light. But anyway, that day I found this one. Why is this not matching up? Oh, I found this one. I found that one. And then I found this one with a whole new tag. Uh, he looks a little crazy, but. And then I found the cutest little 
little baby ducks. I saw that, um, that Rachel found one and I was like, I need to find one too. So then I did and I was so excited and it was so cute and it has like the little name on the bottom. And then when I was leaving the show that night, I found a little blue one that I'm giving to my sister. I'm going to give half of these to my sister. So five for me and four for her, basically half, you know what I mean? But it was so fun and I had no idea anyone did this, but it was a great part of the cruise. So moral of the story, who needs to buy souvenirs when you're on the cruise? You can just find them, win them, or make them. And I had a great time on this cruise, and hopefully one day I'll get to go back on another Carnival cruise. But anyway, bye for real this time. I will see you this Sunday for regularly scheduled content. No more cruise content. But I will be talking about the books that I read for July. And then the Wednesday after that, I will be talking about how I'm actually an author. And then maybe the video after that, I'll be sharing about some of the book projects I'm working on right now because I'm working on one and I'm so excited about this project. And my writing has improved so much. And I think I want to try and actually submit this um, copy to publishing houses. So we'll see. And maybe I'll add some writing content into the book content. But... I hope you guys have a great day and bye for real.